I mean, uh, that's that's how you learn. I mean, the hard way. You you never forget how how important functional safety is once you go through a traumatizing uh, sequence of events like. <laughs> Did you ever ex- have an experience like that that kind of pounded it into your head? Oh, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had I've had robots blow up. I've had robots start fires. I've had robots fall <laughs> down. I had robots that ran away because their motors were on, and so all has happened. So I mean, because they were smaller robots. I mean, they were not eighty kg robots. i was still taking it up as not a very important thing to do because these were all smaller robots so once once i moved into bigger robots and the same started happening that is when i start taking corrective measures of started doing functional st- safety design for them and having e stops and all that so uh, thankfully i didn't have to run behind an 80 kg robot <laughs> <laughs> but we had a, a somewhat similar an 80 kg robot with which could crash crash into you and then we design an e stop for it and we had the whole system on the e stop but we we so our robot was not just a uh, uh, what to say uh, uh, a thing that was just controlled with remotes so it had remotes plus it was running on autonomy so you couldn't cut it off abruptly so you could cut off the motors but you couldn't cut off the brain abruptly if you, oh, you nice. cut off the main system then it would crash so we had to design around it so the main system would keep running but it would stop all the uh, functionality all the motors and everything for something like a safety controller for it we designed something yeah. and once the e stop went it it would stop all those parts 